right here's the one I got. $88, free shipping and handling, 10 row, universal engine transmission, oil cooler, filter, adapter, hose, and Ken's Import is a seller. Here's a picture of everything that was in the kit. And then down here is all stuff about it. Made of high quality aluminum, power coated. <clears throat> it's supposed to hold oil temps 50 degrees up to 50 degrees cooler. Helps reduce coolant temperatures and extends engine life. Must package, package extremely well. Everything had its own little box inside of a bigger box. The oil cooler itself had its own styrofoam, uh, styrofoam block that held it in there. It was packaged really good though. Alright, right here I got my bumper off my car. Here's my bash bar I made. I mounted my oil cooler right here right beside the, on the bash bar. And uh, I don't want to go in front of my inner cooler or my radiator or anything like that because I really don't have the room. Like if I go in front of the here of the inner cooler, it hits my bash bar. If I go behind it, my AC condenser got a lot of stuff in there in the way. So I just thought it would be easier to come right on the side. It won't get as much airflow, but regardless, just the oil circulating through a vented area will help cool the temperatures. So that's where I got it mounted at. A little homemade bracket down here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. A homemade bracket right there, which is metal that I found laying around. And then uh, right here is the rest of the oil cooler kit. I have a, a longer hose. It goes to the, the, it's the feed of oil, so it's the gonna go on top and then right here is the rest of it though but the I got the longer hose going on the top of the the top of the oil cooler so the oil comes in will come in here and come out the bottom because heat rises so I figured it'd be better to have it the feed come from top and the return come from the bottom and then I drilled a hole right here you can see I'm gonna run my the oil lines through here up and around my inner cooler piping and then my oil filters right there so I have the hoses come through there behind there up and down through there and then down to the oil cooler which I got really too much slack but I'll clean it up with this uh, these uh, sandwich oil sandwich kits you want the ring against the block, towards the block, because one side of this will have a ring, and then the other side won't. So this is the side the oil filter will come on. So this side goes against the block, and then I also Teflon taped all my couplers and everything to try to prevent any oil from leaking, because oil is very important, so you don't want that leaking. But yeah, this goes against the block, this, this side against the block, and this side the oil filter goes on. Alright, now right here you can see I got the oil filter off. I got my sandwich right here and I got the piece I need. This is going to slide through the sandwich and then I got a socket and everything ready to attach it. I'll show you it whenever I'm done attaching it because I can't film and do it at the same time. Alright, you see the sandwich is there. Oil filter right there. Oil lines come down underneath everything back on the back side. My inner cooler piping down. Right there is my oil cooler. There's the lines. I'll clean it up whenever I'm done. But I'm going to start up the car and make sure there's no leaks. So that's my whole setup. As of right now, if I, if you asked me if I'd buy another one of these, yeah, I would buy one. My engine temps 
are being held on average 10 degrees cooler than it was before with it. 